Hi there, I'm Marie Cecere and welcome to this edition of the Earth from Space program on the European Space Agency Web TV. This image, taken over part of northwest Greenland's coast, combines three images from Sentinel-1A's radar on February 15th, March 10th and April 3rd, 2016. The shades of grey on the left side of the image depict the static landmass, while the colors on the right show changes in sea ice type and cover between the three radar scans. Near the center-left, we can see the Zakaria Istrom Glacier, which is losing about 5 billion tons of ice a year to the ocean. Zakaria's dynamics have been changing over the last few years, calving high volumes of icebergs, which will inevitably affect sea levels. It is estimated that the entire Zakaria Istrom Glacier in northeast Greenland holds enough water to raise global sea levels by more than 46 centimeters. Scientists have determined that the bottom of Zakaria Istrom is being rapidly eroded by warmer ocean water mixed with growing amounts of meltwater from the ice sheet surface. Zakaria and the nearby glacier to its north, which has a name that is difficult to pronounce, are two of six glaciers being monitored in near real time by Sentinel-1 through a new web portal by the UK's Centre for Polar Observation and Modelling. The portal provides frequent maps of ice velocity of key glaciers in both Greenland and Antarctica. The polar regions are some of the first to experience and visibly demonstrate the effects of climate change, serving as barometers for change in the rest of the world. It is therefore critical that polar ice is monitored comprehensively and in a sustained manner. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European Summer Time. Watch us on our website at www.esa.int. From the ESA Web TV studios, I'm Mali Cecere and have a very nice day.